Hi guys, welcome back. The non presenting, presenting uh, another how to. Right, as I said in one of my earlier videos on the K1200S, uh, whilst doing the Dynajet recommendation instructions on installing a Power Commander 5, and I've seen many other forums who've suffered the same thing, that these you've got to remove, as I said, four bolts on the fuel rail so you can dislodge it. And once you move that, obviously disconnect the rear injector connectors so you can install the Power Commander 5. However, there's no room in there. And subsequently, to my dismay, I broke the actual fuel rail pressure nipple, which I don't know. Some say 42 psi, 50 psi, the actual pressure in the system. Correct me if I'm wrong, I really don't know. So... I, I've tried and I've tried, I went everywhere trying to get this little part here. You can get this left rail and right rail quite common. It's only, you prise these clips upwards, gently, if you want squirt a little bit of WD or penetrating fluid on the insides, just gently shake, shake, shake. It's only an O-ring that's pressurising it. It pulls apart, which is recommended anyway for cleaning. Same as the fuel pressure sensor underneath. Just give it a clean, you take the clip out, it pulls out quite easily and underneath that then you'll have a hollow chamber uh, which makes it easier for the repair and then give it a good clean out. A lot of people say because the location of the pressure sensor then it's best to uh, replace it but I just cleaned mine, o-ring was 100% so anyway. Yeah so the best thing was these two off, the pressure sensor off gave me a clear straight through under here to continue to decide what sort of repair. Anyway, after much head scratching, the whole fuel rail I found motor works, they told me about 279 euros or pounds to, for the whole thing. You cannot buy it uh, in, individually. And that was a big if, if somebody stocked it in the UK. Um, in Europe, I was quoted 379 euros. Um, I'm off to the Pyrenees in three weeks, so time is very limited indeed. So, just got my slight amateur en engineer head on and thought, right, this is made of ABS plastic, which is very, very tough. It was a clean break, so I thought, right, okay, I still had at least 12, 13 mil prior to getting to the centre here. So, what I decided to do was get 7 sixteenths. I don't know what you want to call them, thread, a ream, or whatever, I haven't got a clue. Technical term, don't know. Gently stuck this part in a vice so it's nearly level. And I went to proceed. And I started reaming it up to as far as I could. Yes, it's not, it's not going to be the best thing in the world. Um, however, what I'd then done was I found the 7 16th nipple. Uh, blowing through the nipple obviously there was a lot of restriction there so I decided to cut the oval part the non-threaded part that normally goes into the caliper first off flush with the threads Cl cleaned the threads up and it gave it virtually not far off the same diameter hole as the nipple in the in, of the original so what I've done is I turned it a couple of turns just checked it a couple of turns and then on the exposed threads I applied some super glue and then I carried on turning while that was wet, pliable, and continued at least three or four mil in till it was nice and snug. Then I put a little tip off YouTube, I put some baking powder over the dry, sorry, the um, leftover exposed super glue, which acts like an aggregate to sand or whatever it is, and made it. So now I've done a 50 psi vacuum test on it and it's holding absolutely strong obviously if you can get hold of a fuel rail a proper nipple then please do so i'm just saying this is possible if you ever get stuck you know it actually worked a treat for me apart from the running on three cylinders so um like i say anything anybody wants to know about no bullshit you know i will endeavor to do it and you know if you do need a phone call a video call to help you through something you know i've been spannering for 20 30 years so 
I just want to help somebody out there without having to go through to the dreaded dealership every time. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.